Hey guys, what's going on? Billy Coles here with Smith Mountain Lake Fishing Guide Service. Talking to you guys about two rod setups if you are brand new to bass fishing. These answers aren't gonna surprise anybody. It's nothing crazy unique, but these are the setups that I use as a professional fishing guide and have my clients use all the time. So, so this is what I would recommend people to get. I know a lot of people see bass fishing see it online, see the tournament scene, everything like that. And everybody thinks bait caster, bait caster, bait caster, got to pick up a bait caster, got to get good at a bait caster. But me being from Minnesota and my Minnesota roots, I learned how to fish on a spinning rod. I catch a ton of fish, if not more fish on a spinning rod than I do on a bait caster. Uh, there's definitely some, some Southern boys that can, um, can sweep me under the rug with a bait caster. But to me, a spinning rod is a great way to learn how to fish. It's a great way for casting. It's a great way for multiple different techniques. And I think it's, it's the best way to learn how to fish is on a spinning rod. So with that being said, uh, I am with Dobbins on their guide staff. So the first rod that I would be getting is a Dobbins Champion 702 SF. This is their drop shot shaky head special rod, seven foot two power, super versatile rod, Nice light tip, but enough backbone to get good hook sets into some big fish here at Smith. Um, throwing it with a Shimano Nassi 2500 or a 3000 size. I've got 10 pound braid going to a seven or 10 pound sniper Sunline leader. And that's gonna be my setup for, for this rod 12 months out of the year. It doesn't change. It's the right line size for the reel. It allows for castability, sensitivity, um, and everything related to that. The bait that I would have on here is either going to be a drop shot, or in this case, I've got a Missile Baits Warlock head and a Missile Baits Mini Magic with their Missile Morning color. Um, this color is very popular for a reason. Uh, it's a great one to have just tied on at the beginning of the day if you're struggling to get bites. Any sort of uh, light pink, light purple worm like this is great. The four inch worm also is going to allow you to get bites from big, big fish uh, that are looking for something smaller to eat to catching two to three pounders and kind of your cookie cutter regular bass here. I did want to bring up something on this Warlock head that's great is a lot of shaky heads on the market that have that twist lock to it don't necessarily have that starting pin, which makes it kind of frustrating to have to thread a bait on. So Missile kind of listen to the community and on the new Warlock head, they've got that extra little point to that twist lock which allows you to thread the bait on there so i'll just show you guys real quick how we thread it on so it's just a quick little poke there and just give her the old twist and i like to get that worm really high up on that up on that shaky head there and we're going to make sure that we got the flat part of the worm to the back and just finding our entry point and just a nice straight straight rig there. This is a bass catching machine. Throw it around anything that you can think of. Rock piles, brush piles, dock posts, uh, open water if there's fish out that want to follow something down to the bottom. This is just going to catch a lot of fish for you guys. This can be deployed 12 months out of the year. Sometimes it's going to shine um, better than others. Springtime, uh, fall time, those types, of, uh, those types of times seem to be a little bit better, but a shaky head is clutch to catching a ton of bass. The second rod, and this is why I wanted to do a two rod setup, is a shaky head, drop shot. Those are going to be bottom contact baits. Those are going to be fish that are in the lower column um, of the water down in the actual structure. So the other side of that that you always want to have handy is when fish are looking up, whether that's chasing bait, top water, shad balls are up high. Um, each day is different, specifically on Smith. I have to adjust basically every day, but sometimes the fish are looking up or want to chase something that's horizontally moving. Sometimes they want something vertical down on the bottom. And so with that is the other rod that I would get. This is again, a Dobbins Champion XP. This is a 762. Um, and all I've got on here is just a little eighth ounce ball head. Um, and we are throwing a swimmer on here. So, so what I've got here, guys, is a little ball head jig, eighth ounce, very standard, very straightforward. You can pick these up literally anywhere. Walmart even sells them. Um, this is just something you should have in your boat. Is I've got a Missile Baits Shockwave Fishalicious. This is their shad color or the shad profile bait. Again, going with something that's just super, super natural. Matches the hatch, matches the bait. Um, and what's nice on the Shockwave is the profile on this. So there's a ton of different swim baits on the market, obviously. Bunch of different shapes, but a thin profile is going to allow for 
kind of a, a little bit more of a like shad wrap tile style of flash um, as opposed to kind of a wider tail wobble and so this can be used to kind of be a little bit more subtle when it comes into the swim bait game and all you're doing is just basically threading this thing on number one key is we want to make sure this is as straight as possible put it up on the head there and that's all we're doing for the swim bait super straightforward this is for when fish are again are up higher in the column or they're looking up but these two techniques on spinning rods this is with the nasty 3000 as well 10 pound braid 10 pound leader seven pound leader um, these two rods right here deployed will catch you bass 12 months out of the year if they're up high or down on the bottom that's pretty much how you need to start approaching fishing and breaking it down is where are the fish located in the water column and what type of um, what type of bait are they using so check out those baits at missile baits check out dobbins rods shimano uh, or if you have any questions you can check out my website for a fishing report and um, some other tips good luck